Hi boys and girls, I'm Pastor Joe and I'm going to sit by my super real fireplace and read you a story from the Bible. This corresponds with this week's uh, lesson, Justice in Jubilee, and uh, here the story from the book of Isaiah is called A Promise of Hope. Isaiah was one of God's prophets. While Isaiah was praying, God spoke to him. Isaiah, listen, God said. It's time to share good news with my chosen people, the people of Israel. Isaiah wanted to talk to God. He knelt on the ground. He held his hands out to God. How can be this be a good time for good news, God? Your people are tired. Many are homeless. Many are sad. Many are weak. Here's all the sad, tired people in Israel. I know, God whispered, I am going to change all of that for my people. Isaiah closed his eyes tight. He listened closely and wondered, how would God change things? What was God's good news? Here's Isaiah wondering. I will comfort kids who are sad, God said. I will give strength to people who are weak. Men and women will fix broken walls. Everyone will be joyful again. There's some wall fixing going on. You know what I love? God asked Isaiah. Justice. I want my people in Israel to have justice. They have been hurting and sad. I will help them feel glad. I will bring fairness to my people. I'm making a brand new promise. Everyone who sees the people of Israel will know that I have blessed them. Not just the people in Israel now, but their kids, even their grandkids. Isaiah couldn't believe his ears. He could hardly wait to share God's message and shout the good news. And there's Isaiah shouting the good news. This is a very special uh, story in the Bible because we hear that even when things are looking particularly tough, when it feels like good news is far off, that God is always with us, that God is always dreaming up a future for us where everyone is loved and everyone has what they need, and that even when we can't see God at work, that God is at work among us through helping people like family and friends and, and parents and teachers, um, but in unexpected places too. And so we can remember that good news and share it with others when time seems tough for them. Well, I hope you enjoyed this story and I hope you have a good week.